Hi, Traders Roberto here, and this is the Pro Traders Workshop Series. And today's tutorial is on news events and news event strategy. So let me just get started. So normally I send out a strategy, and with the CAD we needed either 35K to buy or minus 15K to sell. Okay, that was the... Um, and if you're uh, so let me just go to Forex factory which is the calendar that I use for events so we're we're looking for a strong deviation a strong negative or very strong positive numbers for employment change and notice that it came out to 40.6 or so exceeded the the um, the target the the amount that we're looking for so definitely we would be buying and also the un un unemployment rate came out positive at uh, 7.1 forecast is 7.3 and previously was 7.3 so what's really important is that when you see numbers like this that are so strong then it's almost like you don't even need to know where to get in you can ex enter a trade at any time you're going to make money and I'll case in point I'll just give you I actually entered late because uh, uh, my computer went down when I came back on I saw that the numbers were very positive I took the trade anyway um, I took um, several pairs USD CAD uh, pound CAD starting to retrace now but most likely it would just continue to sell off it's still early it's only 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern and this any kind of retracement is just a reaction of um, the London close. Um, the other one was New Zealand dollar. Now what I'm going to do is just change these to a daily chart because the the next tutorial will be trading um, like institutional traders which are using the daily charts. So I'm going to just trade all these pairs to a daily chart and see what that looks like on a, on a daily chart. EuroCAD, um, here we had three wicks, three uh, spinning tops, and this is the candle that you would sell on right there. And then you would target the next support, which is about here on a daily chart. Okay. And notice that I'm up, I'm up, you know, 50. 55 pips and that's after the market had already moved quite a bit so I have confidence in these trades simply because the numbers are so strong so it doesn't matter where you get in really the, that's the direction for the market for that day the numbers are extremely positive for the Canadian dollar which means USD CAD pound CAD New Zealand CAD Euro CAD Australian CAD should sell off for the next few days. So typically I'd like to use um, I either a 5 or 15 minute chart. I like I prefer the 15 minute chart for a news event simply because the noise has been um, pretty much after 15 minutes you know what the overall direction uh, of a trade is. So for example here there's the initial reaction right here the scandal there's the retracement and there's the trade so on a 15 minute chart I, I would just take my Fibonacci tool and draw it from the swing high to the swing low of that initial reaction of a news event right there that's that 15 minute candle and then I wait and this took quite some time before it reached up the 38 percent retracement level and I actually um, entered down here because I, I missed I was not uh, my computer went down when I came back it had moved substantially so I just went ahead and take took the trade because I know that this would continue to sell off and that's exactly what happened okay let's look at pound cat on a 15 minute chart and again there's the initial reaction to the news event right there there's the uh, retracement and there's the trade so again these numbers are strong enough that the market should continue 
to sell off the UK uh, USD CAD, Pound CAD, Euro CAD, New Zealand CAD. So I'm going to switch over to a daily chart just to show you where price most likely is going to find support. On USD CAD, we have this level, this area of support right there, and 128.90, is where price most likely will find support and may break below, but it, uh, unfortunately it will not do it the first time. And this daily chart most likely will hit this level of support, react to it, and then possibly the second time break this level. Okay. So the same thing with New Zealand, CAD. We had in the previous videos we discussed trend lines on a daily chart, and this is a swing point, and this is a swing point, so we connect swing points. Price broke below the, the trend line, and now we're looking for targets of 88.02 area at the moment. Right now it's at 88.46. On the EuroCAD, the same thing. We had, <clears throat> excuse me, three days of indecision. And now there's the bearish candle. This is the alert. This um, broke below that support. And we're looking at 146.72 target around anywhere from 146.93 to 146.57. And the Australian dollar is the same. Australian dollar has been weak the past few weeks. Um, so this push, this is just pushing, it's just supporting the overall direction of the Aussie CAD. And there's the, again, we're connecting the swing points. Price broke below the swing point yesterday and today. It's the the news event is supporting the trend. So we, we're we short and we're looking for targets possibly down at 76.65. And then finally down to 96.16, if it does get down to that level. Now, you can also take your Fibonacci tool and draw it from that swing low to the swing high and see if there's any extensions. And there's one extension at 97.38 right here. And then the next one is 261 down at this level. So that's it for news events. Please email me if you have any questions on news events. I hope everyone was able to take this trade because it was very profitable and it should continue to sell off for the rest of the day and next week so we'll have um, a monday retracement most likely and then on tuesday the market should continue its sell-off have a good weekend thanks for watching this video